Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Asian Doll being replaced by Sexy Red and how one is moving up the ladder and how the other is spiraling out of control. Let's hop into it. Let's talk in the comments and please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so today, well, really yesterday, with Asian Doll. Yesterday, I found out that Asian Doll joined OnlyFans. Today, I found out that S Sexy Red is going on tour. And that really made me think like, hmm, like as one is on the ascension, the other is on the descension. You know, I told y'all that they want these rap girls to go into sex work. I've been telling y'all they're trying to make sex work mainstream. So it is not of any surprise that another female rapper joins OnlyFans, okay? And she's kind of have some reason to want to do this because all of her peers are selling sex. You have people like Saweetie who just joined OnlyFans and she is more successful than Asian Doll. You have City Girls, who were openly talking about selling ass. Carisha is talking about, I don't need to rap. I'm, you know, this coochie pays the bills. Lotto didn't get popular until she sold out and started selling sex. The R&B girls are selling sex. And Ice Spice is selling sex. So everybody is selling sex right now. And everybody who's doing it is moving a little bit further than Asian Dolls. So I can understand her succumbing to the pressure of wanting to do the sexy thing, sell out, be a city girl, X, Y, and Z. However, I just feel like Asian continues to just make bad choices. I feel like OnlyFans was not the move. I just don't. I don't think it's the move for Saweetie either. You know, something that uh, this guy on YouTube, the Game Spitter, was saying is you don't see people like Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, Beyonce. You don't see them joining OnlyFans. They'll rap about it. They'll talk about it. But they're not really on that platform. And it's because they want to differentiate themselves between artists and sex workers. Meanwhile, some of the people at the bottom or in the middle are kind of having to do both. But the T is, even those women do sell sex, but they're not on OnlyFans. They sell it, but they're not, you know, they don't have a fucking barcode on their ass either. And when it comes to Asian doll, I just feel like Asian, like your music wasn't hitting, you know, and here you go thinking, oh, well, when the music don't sell, let me go sell some ass. And it's just like, why are you doing that? She run around claiming that OnlyFans cut her a check to, to join. And I believe that they did. I don't know about 500K as she's claiming, but I believe that they did cut her a check. I just feel like it's not worth it. And here you go. If they cut you a check, you win another fucking contract. So you, I just did a video on you the other day. So that's what happened. You wanted out of your record label contract so you could go sell ass. You don't give a damn about your music, you know, and if you really did care, maybe you would be better at it because, you, you know, you so hell bent on not having a job. You so hell bent on not doing any serious work. I think I told Asian Doll in the last video, you need to go back to school. You need to get a real job. You need to stop with this entertainment industry stuff. Like there are some people who I just noticed who just don't need to be in this industry. It's a dark, demonic, evil industry. And there are people who just don't need to be a part of it. People like Normani, people like Asian Doll. Like, isn't it dawning on y'all that you've been having this much trouble these many problems for this long trying to get into the industry trying to be where you want to be and you keep struggling and struggling and you keep having to degrade yourself more and more and more to reach those higher levels and it should just show you this is not for you you need to get a job like if if only fans gave asian doll any money she needs to take that money and start a business or go back to school she needs to take some classes at her local community college to learn how to run a fucking business and to learn how to read contracts and to learn how to do stuff this is what i mean like some people are not made for the industry because they don't even have enough education you don't even have enough money to do what you're trying to do you are not enough brains. You don't have enough money. You don't have enough brains. You don't have enough of what the fuck you need. Enough of that secret sauce. You need to just give it up. And I'm not trying to shade her. I want the best of her Asian doll. That's why I do videos about her. Because it's like, I want her to win. She's a pretty black girl. Like, I want her to win. But it's like, Asian, like, you got to do better. 
You got to stop making bad choices. You got to stop fucking around in these contracts. You got to stop with the music. You got to stop trying to sell ass. Like all this stuff, this, this thirst for fame, it has to stop. It has to stop because it's leading you down a dark hole. And it's just like, now, Sexy Red clearly done sold her soul. So she getting the biggest push right now. Ain't nobody was about to buy nothing about you on no Queen of Drill and all of that. You see how Ice Spice had to dress up Drill. Ice Spice had to make it more feminine. She had to make it more playful, more sexy. Okay, so she already took your spot. Now you trying to be all sexual and freaky. Okay, well, hey, well, Sexy Red took your spot. Suki Hana taking your spot. The best you can do, Asian doll, I told you. You need to carry your ass on love and hip hop. But no, and change the kind of music that you're making. But no, you want to continue to try to belly, you know, battle with the beast. Okay. But meanwhile, Sexy Red again then took your spot. She getting all the cosigns. She about to go on tour. The new bitches ain't going on tour. Cardi B is done. Megan Thee Stallion is done. They replaced. They're already replaced. Sexy Red about to go on tour. She getting millions in marketing and promotion. She just dropped a project. She getting male co-signs and collabs. She doing it all. She meeting industry people, you know, people in the industry fucking with her. And I get it. Like, Sexy Red is pushing a horrible, horrible agenda. She's she's always talking about STD, sex, niggas in jail, booty hoes, coochie hoes, like... She just always talking about like some degenerate shit, but it's like she been sold out. She pushing the dark feminine energy. She been sold out. Like she got your spot, sis. Your spot been taken. Like your spot been taken. You need to give it up. Turn it loose. Asian, please get a job. You are going to be on OnlyFans and we're going to hear about it in a few weeks, a few short weeks about how you hating it. You don't like it. You want to get out your contract. Like we're going to be hearing about it. Because I know this ain't going to last. Because it's not a good look. You need to let it go. So what y'all think, y'all? Let's talk in the comments. Sexy Red is on the come up. She doing her thing. She out here. I've been noticing, like, damn, like, Sexy Red got that Ice Spice promo budget. You know, she out here. And as far as, like, Asian Doll, again, like, with Ice Spice taking her spot, it's just like, again, y'all was both doing drill. Ice Spice then came through, put a new mix on drill. Now you trying to copy her with that song together forever. But it's like, again, Ice Spice already doing that. You late. She already doing that. She already got your spot. It's too late. She got she got budget behind her. She got people behind her. Like some people are bloodline and some people are not in this industry, y'all. And it's just like those who are not bloodline need to get the fuck out of this industry. You need to get out of this industry. You try to save a little bit of soul you got left. Because if you keep up, if you keep it up, you're gonna be you're gonna find yourself, you know, with a toe tag. Cause they're gonna get you. You need to calm down, Asian dog. Stop letting all your peers influence you to want to sell sex and want to sell ads because they got another thing coming for them. You know, Satan leading them down a dark path, too. You can't be following up behind everything everybody else doing just because it looked good on the the front end. You know, you got to think about that. So shout out to Sexy and Asian. I'm hoping the best for them both. I just really want Asian to leave this game alone and to clean up her image and change her whole life. And, you know, shit, I want to see her working a damn corporate job with a fucking button down on. I want her out this industry, but she she got other ideas. Let's talk in the comments, y'all. Bye.